there are two pages to this kit this is the front and this is the reverse now the reverse is printed slightly larger so that if your printer is slightly out of alignment this will take care of that so when you're cutting refer to this side here so I'll go ahead and cut these out and then we'll put it together so I've cut out my circle cutting round on this side and this side is nicely overlapped and I've also inked this in around these little edges here and all the way around this side and I've got my little tags cut out as well cut from this point here to the edge and the same on the other side And then with the back of my craft knife, I'm going to give myself a score line here. And I'm going to come all the way down this line here, making sure I use the back, not the front. And down here as well. And I can fold this in half like this, unfold, fold these flaps inwards. Fold this piece up over the top, fold these two pieces like this, and that's as simple as that is. And now I'm just going to glue it together. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue down this bottom seam here, to keep those two closed, and then I'm going to have a look how far up I'm coming with my glue here and just glue these two areas shut like that keep pressing those down to let them grab put a little seam of glue at the bottom of this little flap here and the same on this side and glue those in place and that's my circular folded pocket complete and I'll go ahead and ink up these edges to get rid of these little bits of white paper that I can see at the ends. And I can go over these folds as well. I'm going to pop some pegs on to keep it all secure while it dries. Or clothes pins if you're in the US. Now that's had a chance to dry, it's good to go with the little tags to go inside and any other bits and pieces you might want to pop in there and I think what I'm going to do with this because I've got my pop-up piano here and I've got this sheet to decorate I'm going to make myself a nice little pocket to pop that in I've got a little piece left over here so I'm going to go ahead and trim this down and make myself quite a simple pocket and for a bit of something fancy I'm going to fold this piece in half I've got some overprinting on the back but that doesn't matter I'm a big fan of using up my scraps and then I'm just going to randomly make myself a nice shape here let's see what that looks like yeah that's quite pretty There we are, quite like the look of that. I will ink up this edge. And it, just to complete this page with or without the tags, I'm going to glue this. I was saving this for my front cover, but I think I'll use it here. I like it. I can always print out another one and use another one. Hopefully this has had enough time to dry now. And there it is, that's that spread done that leads into my beautiful pop-up piano. Little extra finish, I'm going to ink up this little peacock feather that's been floating about my desk for a few days. And pop him on there as well. And if I just do this outside edge it's 
stick that on there like that. I've made myself a little tuck for something else. Eh, done. Quite happy with that page. So now we can take this out. We've got our little tags here that echo the shape of this curve. And we've got whatever other bits and pieces we want to pop in there as well. And then that will then fit in that pocket. This is a little tuck spot there. And we open out onto the pop-up piano.